Hi, Salam Sejahtera, this is Kids Bricks, Mind Over Bricks and Driving the Bricks. Hey, it's John. About a year ago, I decided to go to the toy market in Dongdaemun to buy some toys for my kids. This set caught my eyes and it literally brought me back into the Lego scene since I don't know when. Memoirs aside, let's dive in. This is a LEGO City Set 60053 race car. It comes with 100 pieces but what you see here is not really the complete set. Unfortunately, I'm missing the trophy. With all the moving and stuff, my LEGO toolbox, minifigures and parts box got separated along the way. All is not lost though because the main feature of this set is the race car itself. Generally, I really like the slopes and curves for this car. It does have a low stance. And the flowing shapes makes it look sleek and aerodynamic. I do have some problems translating the back end, and I do think that the gaping hole underneath needs to be covered. There are also some gaps left open wide. I'd love to fill this in, but one, I don't think there are specialized parts made to fill those gaps, and two, I'm not a master builder yet. On the subject of details, Comparing this with the LEGO Speed Champion set, it's not as good, but as a LEGO City set, it's really good. For one, those instrument clusters are very rare. And two, the driver sits really low to the ground. The minifig scaling is really good. Even though the tires are a bit too big, I have no problems with that. Looking at the build quality, it's a bit flimsy at different Places. The rear wings are supposed to be fully adjustable but unfortunately the robot arms don't move in tandem. As long as you make sure that the robot arms move parallel to each other, you should be fine. Another solution would be to put a 1x4 piece of plate underneath those wings. The minifigure detail itself is quite comprehensive. It's race ready, equipped with gloves, racing suit and helmet. For me personally, it would be a real treat if the helmet itself was treated with racing trims. I don't really know if LEGO have ever done that before. Flat red is fine, but racing trims, better. On the subject of racing trims, the racing suit detail is highlighted by the bold black lines, and this continues all the way to the back of the torso. What I really appreciate the most though are those sewing scenes. The minifigure itself is not lifelike, granted. But with all these small small details, trust me, you won't regret buying this set. So guys, what do you think of my opinions in this video? Share your suggestions and feedbacks in the comment section. We'd be happy to improve ourselves and keep you guys, the viewers, entertained. If you have any queries about us, this set, other toys, or you have a totally different suggestion not related to this video, hit us up on kidsbricks at gmail.com or you can visit our Facebook page to see our progress. You can find the link below. If you like this video and you like what we're doing, hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.